Hi, I'm Brandon Michael Elrod, and this is my media professional podcast. Uh, I'm going to be doing mine on the director, David Fincher, who is actually my favorite director of all time. Um, he was born in 1962 in Colorado, but he moved to California at a pretty young age and was raised there. Um, at the age of 18, he went to work for a film company called Cordy Films, and subsequently worked at ILM after that. But he quit at ILM in the early 80s uh, to direct TV commercials and music videos, which is kind of strange because not a lot of people know that. Um, he has directed TV commercials for Nike, Coca-Cola, Budweiser, Levi's, Pepsi, AT&T, and even Chanel, actually. Um, some of the music videos he's produced most recently was A Perfect Circle. He's also done music videos for Iggy Pop, The Wallflowers, Billy Idol, Michael Jackson, The Rolling Stones, and a host of a bunch of other uh, musical artists. Um, but what he's most famous for are his films, which I find to be incredible. Um, his most famous one, which I believe most of you have seen, is Fight Club. Uh, he also directed Seven, Panic Room, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and I believe most direction. Most recently, the four girl with the dragon tattoo is the social network. Um, I really love David Fincher because of the way he believes film should be made, um, which is not upbeat and entertaining, but uh, more realistic and downbeat, I guess would be a good word to describe it. Um, and I want to take you through right now uh, a short synopsis of his work why I like him as a director. As promised, here's more about David Fincher, the director, uh, starting with one of my favorite quotes from him. I don't know how much movies should entertain. To me, I'm always interested in movies that scar. The thing I love the most about film, the film Jaws, is the fact that I've never gone swimming in the ocean again. David Fincher's style, um, especially his trademarks in film, are very downbeat endings uh, that often end in suicide, either attempted or successful. Um, use a lot of silhouettes to mask characters' faces and wide-angle shots with a heavy depth of field. Um, and as you'll see coming up, he frequently casts Brad Pitt. Uh, here's one of his more recent films. Uh, this is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is the adaptation of a popular book by the same name. And it's about an investigative journalist hired to find a missing girl from the 60s. Um, as you can see with the shot, he's using a pretty wide angle with a lot of depth of field. He likes to space his characters out this way because um, it makes the shot, like, shots really dynamic. For that, there was uh, The Social Network, which is a pretty downbeat film about the rise of Mark Zuckerberg and the invention of Facebook, um, chronicling Mr. Zuckerberg from college to basically where he is now. Um, this had a lot of Fincher's trademarks in it, too, which was followed in close by The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, which, as I mentioned earlier, stars Brad Pitt, um, it's got a lot of wide-angle shots, a lot of uh, depth of field. It's about a man who grows up aging in reverse. He's born old and gets younger as he ages. Um, this has a very downbeat ending, which is pretty standard of Fincher. Panic Room. Um, this shot displays what I like to call Fincher's through-the-wall shots, which give the illusion that the camera's moving through the wall. And this film is very downbeat, but it's also about a mother and daughter who are trapped in their house uh, while it's being burglarized. And up comes one of his more famous films, especially by young adult standard, which is Fight Club, which is the story of an insomniac who helps start an anarchist group bent on blowing up major banks. Um, once again, uses Fight Club, a lot of depth of field. Um, he splices in single frames to make the audience uneasy, which is something not a lot of people do these days. Um, Brad Pitt again in Seven, which is a very tragic film um, about a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins as a reason to commit murder. Um, you know, character suicide at the end, of course, um, a lot of depth of field. Um, this is really recent. This is one of Fincher's commercials he did for Nike, starring Adrian Peterson. Um, Shot's really cool. It, it kind of has a through the wall shot thing going on, but it's mostly through weather. It's transitions from snow to rain um, to fog. 
These are just a couple things David Fincher does, and I really hope you watch his films because they are fantastic. Thank you for watching.